Our connection with the Country Fire Authority is up now, so let's go to the Chief Officer, Jason Heffern. And Jason, good to see you. Thanks for your time. So we'll start off with these warnings. What are the current warnings that are in place this morning and where? Uh, we have the Briagalong fire, which is uh, probably the fire of concern at the moment uh, here in the east of Gippsland. Uh, there's two emergency warnings in place. Uh, for those residents that are north of Be Beverley's Road, we're, uh, we're asking them to, uh, to shelter in place. They're to stay where they are. It is too late to leave. Uh, the, anyone in between Beverley's Road and the Princess Highway, uh, you are asked to leave now. The fire is currently burning in that area uh, and residents are being asked to, uh, to make your way uh, to a relief centre in Sale. We're asking people to avoid the Princess Highway uh, out of Bansdale back towards Melbourne uh, to allow emergency services to get access to the fire grounds. Uh, at Locksport, uh, we've got uh, another emergency warning in place. We're asking the communities there to uh, shelter now. Uh, the fire is affecting all sides of the road leading into those localities, and particularly the community of Seacombe and Locksport. Uh, those winds that we spoke about yesterday, they eventuated, uh, we saw in the early hours of this morning, uh, winds up to about 80 kilometres an hour uh, feature across these fire grounds, which led to a rapid growth. Uh, the Briagalong Bri 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 fire, uh, as an example, was 6,000 hectares yesterday. We're now estimating at around 17,000 hectares. So certainly mm. a dynamic situation. It is changing uh, all of the time. We are getting early reports of some of those winds dying down. Uh, but communities uh, need to be very alert and aware, uh, follow the direction of firefighters and keep up to date via the Vic emergency app. Uh, yeah, no, I get that this is a very fluid situation. Do you get a rough estimate of how many homes, how many residents are under threat this morning, specifically from the fires? Yeah, we've deployed additional rapid impact assessment teams from uh, Fire Rescue Victoria uh, into the uh, fire affected areas. But, uh, you know, luckily and, and uh, somewhat hopefully, uh, we haven't had any further reports of property loss this morning. Uh, although I do anticipate most of the firefighters have been actively engaged in property protection and firefighting uh, this morning. We still only have that one confirmed uh, house loss uh, on the uh, Br Brigalong fire, okay. uh, but certainly we've got teams out there doing those assessments and we should know a little bit more in the next couple of hours. And you mentioned uh, just a, a brief time ago, Jason, that uh, weather, uh, the conditions are easing a little bit in some places, but what, what are conditions on the whole doing now? Because you've got a bit of everything today. We do have a bit of everything today. So ahead of that frontal system moving across the state, we are seeing those really hot uh, and strong northerly winds. As I said, they're recording some peak speeds of up to 80 kilometres an hour. Uh, we are starting to see some rain fall. In fact, uh, rain has been falling here in Melbourne and we do anticipate rain to start falling across some of these fire grounds in the next few hours, uh, with even more rain uh, coming across the fire grounds later on this evening, uh, around 6pm tonight. So today we'll very rapidly turn from a day of firefighting uh, to what is likely to be a day of uh, watching out for uh, flash flooding and flood yeah. warnings. Okay. Be careful out there, folks. Jason Heffernan, appreciate the update.